Hello, let us study a bit uh, different method than Euler's method. That is called as a modified Euler's method or predictor corrector method. Now, uh, there is a slight difference uh, in this method, uh, which you can see from this diagram that there are uh, this x0 to x2, that is the entire interval, is divided into two strips. Okay, that is equal to 2h. Okay, now. Uh, you can see that at midpoint of this interval, uh, we need to take evaluate the function, okay, that is y1, and at the end of the interval, the evaluation is called as a y2, okay. So, what we did, we have taken the interval, uh, we have divided that interval into exactly two half, that is uh, uh, sometimes also this is called as a midpoint formula, okay. So, what we need to do is that we first need to evaluate the function uh, at the uh, this y1 let's say we need to evaluate the value of y1 at this point uh, with the help of simple euler's formula that is called as a predictor formula that is y1 dash is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 this we already seen the euler's formula now let's correct that value with the help of a corrector formula now what is corrector formula y1 uh, y1 dash that is y1 first re revision is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x0 plus h comma y1 that means at y1 we are using this corrected formula to update the value of y1 again if this y1 dash and y1 if this difference uh, the absolute value difference between these two values is above limit then we again need to rephrase the value of y1 and that is done by y12 and that is given by y0 plus h by 2 f of x0 y0 plus f of x0 plus h into y1 first value now you can see that every time when we correct this value of y1 we need to use the previous value uh, which we have calculated now why we are correcting this value because there is a criteria that there should be a absolute difference between this y12 and this y11 that should fall below certain value then only then we will freeze the value of y1 okay so that freezed value of y1 why we are uh, will be use uh, will be using that value to find out the y2 that is at this point okay at y2 we need to find out uh, what is the value that is why y1 is uh, whatever we evaluated with the help of this equation that we will consider to find out the value of y2 again we need to use a predictor formula because we have already half the interval okay so from this point that is that from the midpoint also we are going to use a first predictor formula and then that predictor formula is corrected once or twice depending on the required accuracy so let us study uh, this entire method with the help of some example now you, let's study this example dy by dx is equal to root of x plus y at x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2.2 we need to find uh, what is y at x is equal to 1.2 with the accuracy of 0 0.0001 that is four digit accuracy which is given so again uh, first how to find out the h okay so h is x0 minus uh, xg minus x0 upon n xg is in this case it is 1.2 that is uh, at required x okay so that is why 1.2 minus x0 that will starting value that is 1 okay and n now in this case of modified euler's method this n value is always 2 remember this okay so because of that h is 0.1 then evaluate y1 this is the predictor formula then correct this formula with the help of corrector now this y11 is calculated and here you can see that we have taken the absolute difference between this y11 and y1 uh, that is nothing but 0 0.003382 which is more than the desired limit because of that we have again corrected the formula of y1 okay and for to uh, 
to get this value we will use the previously corrected value in order to refine the value of y1 again okay so when we get y12 minus y1 is less than the desired accuracy hence we will freeze this value of y1 so this y1 is nothing but at x is equal to 1.1 why it is at 1.1 because we need to find out x at 1.2 we are starting with the x is equal to 1 uh, with the uh, with the two steps that means whatever the intermediate value that we will get at x is equal to 1.1 now this value is again uh, uh, you will uh, that will be used to find out the value of y2 again to predict the value of y2 this is the predictor formula and for this we will again use the value of y1 which is we have got with the uh, uh, previously okay so that is evaluated at 2.569374 then again we have to uh, we, we have to implement the corrector formula for y2 and again we need to refine that uh, value of y2 because here we will find that the difference between 2.56973 the difference between these two values is above the accuracy that is why we again need to refine the value of y2 okay and after uh, after getting the uh, after repeating this uh, corrector formula two times we will finally get that at xg is equal to 1.2 yg is, y is equal to 2.57318 now here what you find is that the calculations are quite intensive but uh, whatever the accuracy which we get that is better than the Euler's method so uh, this is also called as a as we have seen this is a called as a modified Euler method or this is called the predictor corrector method or sometimes also called as a midpoint method because we are exactly halving the interval in two parts. Thank you.